Well, did you know that prostate cancer is the second most prevalent form of cancer with men? This month is dedicated to prostate cancer awareness, what you need to know to stay healthy. We're joined by Dr. George Privet from Lexington Diagnostic Center and Open MRI. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for having me. So what do people need to know? What do men need to know about this form of cancer and, and how they can prevent it? Well, preventing it is uh, difficult right now. It's more like uh, being aware that it that is occurring and what to do about it when it happens. It seems to be uh, something that's going to happen to almost all men mm -hmm. as they get older and as our population ages, then more and more of us will uh, uh, have experience with prostate uh, cancer. So how important is it that they're tested regularly and that they have a real good understanding of prostate cancer? Well, it's, it's very important because uh, prostate cancer is a uh, uh, easy, fairly easy to detect, but uh, more difficult to treat and treat successfully, and there are lots of different ways to treat it. So I think if uh, men are well educated about what all the possibilities, the diagnostic tests and the treatments are, then they've got a better uh, chance of uh, getting what's right for them. Now there's a new test out that uh, sounds like it could really change the way that you deal with prostate cancer. Yeah, we've uh, gotten new software that allows us to analyze images that we get from an MRI scan that we do uh, in the pelvis area of the prostate. And what it allows us to do is to actually see uh, one or two or three, what, however many there are, cancers within this small walnut-sized gland, uh, tell how big they are, uh, tell whether they're growing or not if we do it in sequence, uh, tell whether the cancer is inside the capsule or or, or retained within the capsule and tell how close it is to the nerves uh, around the prostate, which are very important. How different is this from the way you used to have to diagnose this? Well, in the past we could see a, an image of the prostate, but because uh, various factors, we couldn't tell what was normal tissue, what were benign cysts, and what was cancer. Uh, and the only way to know if someone had an elevated PSA uh, would be to do uh, multiple blind biopsies, basically, where through a rectal uh, probe, multiple needles are put into the prostate, maybe 15 or 20 samples are taken at one setting, and then each of those samples is analyzed. So um, it's, uh, it's kind of analogous to a, a breast cancer biopsy. If you went in to have a biopsy and they said, we're going to put, we're just going to probe around and put 15 or 20 needles in your breast and see if we hit something. Wow. And that's a about the way uh, the situation is with prostate cancer. Well, it really sounds exciting and so much easier on patients. So if they want more information, they can call these numbers or check out your website and uh, certainly get those tests done and live healthy. Thank, Thank you, you very much for coming in. Thank you, Barbara.